I think my battery's a little bit low, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. Maiden flight. Here we go. There we go. Look at that, she's flying. She is flying. Okay, let's bring her back down. Okay. Oh, let's try not lose control. This thing is incredibly quick. Okay. Let's uh, just get it to hover. Stabilize. Stabilize. Back a bit. Land. Okay. I think my battery is incredibly low, but uh, I think that was a good test. I'm tempted to try it in manual mode, so let's switch to manual. Might be a bit di difficult, but let's try it. Okay, so uh, that was manual mode. Um, it was a little bit harder to control, but um, I think I've just flipped the power switch. When it landed, it hit the power switch, but let's hit manual mode again. I'm just a bit concerned of traffic around here, so just be aware that the front of the quad is uh, is that way. So, Manual mode is a little bit harder to control. Let's land it. Yeah, manual mode is, is certainly harder to control. Let's go for attitude stabilization mode. There we go. Now, let's go back, 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 back. Forward, 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 right, uh, back, land it, land it, land it, okay. Oof. I'm going to need a bigger field, I think, but um, I just want to get it to hover without being out of control. Without it drifting. Okay. Now let's just keep her there, keep her there, keep her there, keep her there. That's it. Get the trim. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm running out of battery. Yeah, she's. Uh... Yeah, low battery. Okay, no worries, I have a second battery. Okay, so... Stick number one, because this is actually fully charged. 
uh, this battery uh, here is uh, is not fully charged. In fact, I barely gave it a, just a brief charge. And this is a new battery, and I just just um, gave it a very brief charge before coming here. Not even half an hour. So um, yeah, let's just put it on the ground before we. Okay, so I'm trying to get it to just hover stably because there's a little bit of a breeze and it seems to just make it drift. So okay. Auto mode, let's go. So it drifts just a little bit. Need to stabilize. Okay, come on. Just hover very, very gently. Just bring it back. Because I'm actually now having to learn how to fly, so. It's got some serious good climb. Whoa, if I'd, and that wasn't even just. I think I need better indication on it, on what is forward direction and what is. Um, look at that. Stability or what? That's me doing that. Just playing around with the pitch. That's roll. Roll to the left, roll to the right. Pitch forward, backward. Look at that, the way it returns to center when, it, when I come off the controls. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Got to be so very gentle on the controls. But I must say this: I've got to hand it to the DJI, DJI NASA flight controller. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Okay, bring her back down. I don't want to take her up too high. Okay, fantastic.
I'm getting a little bit of vibration on those crash protectors I installed. So if you noticed, I've, um, let's just get it to settle. Okay, so if you noticed, I installed on the four corners, I've installed these, um, uh, these basic crash protectors. So if it ever lands on the propeller side, it will, um, uh, it'll hit this rather than the propellers. And so I've gone through about three sets of propellers already. And, um, you know, it's it's not fun just having to replace propellers all the time. And these propellers are really brittle, they'll just snap, so... Um, I considered making my own propellers out of aluminium, but huh, that's then essentially making a flying chainsaw, so I figured I might not do that. But, um, yeah. Uh, I think um, I'm going to call that a successful test. And, um, yeah, let's land it. Yeah, it's giving me a low battery warning, but that was a good few minutes of flying, so yeah. Ah, successful test. Land. Okay. Just gotta locate the power switch.